somebody's making fun of me maybe this is this is the uh that's the data port the control port um i have to disable interrupts if i want that to uh show up um when the bit changes it gets an interrupt and goes to my interrupt handler so i never see the interrupt i never see the control port change if i turned off interrupts then uh you know if i do this if i do this then i'm not sure ts is interrupt proof i think i might need interrupt it's my um the timer can overflow no it's using h pad okay anyway um oh you guys won't see the screen because i uh i use the screen capture you won't see it never mind i anyway uh so uh, if you want to know the details, the, I really, mine, I like to work where I can make a difference. And writing drivers is not where I want to be working. I don't want to work on drivers. I want to work on, I made a compiler with a beautiful language. I made an editor with a document structure. That you can see my command line has trees and links and um so I want to be creating value. I don't want to be, I can't, if I made a browser, at best, the best I could do was, would be identical to what somebody else has. That's not, a, that's pointless. If the best answer is identical, then why on earth would I do a browser? There's nothing you can add to a browser. You're not free to change it. Anyway, so those people are busy reinventing Linux down to the screw. They're making Linux down to the screw. The exact, I don't know why they're doing it. This is, by the way, this is my uh, unzip, unzip, and there's a Windows unzip also. Anyway, uh, um, so, uh, so yeah, they were making fun of, they were making fun of me because I'm reading the data port instead of the control port. Anyway, um, so now in a, uh, guess what class, class. They, they use a uh, box debugger. I, I I worked natively and had my own debugger. The first thing you write is a debugger when you're out working on an operating system. This was routine at Ticketmaster. We we had a 68,000, 8051, um, fax, PC. We didn't do a PC debugger. So I have a debugger I made. Um, kind of uh, anyway the problem with the debugger is if you make it fancy then you can't use it on your your low-level code and if you make it uh, primitive then nobody else can really use it unless they it's uh, my biggest problem is screen real real estate screen real estate is the problem I can't enter the debugger debugger because it'll um, turn off screen capture um, it goes anyway uh, so I don't ever use it except I get a stack trace from my debugger. Guess what? Look at my wallpaper. Is this kick ass or what? My my fucking wallpaper tells this is a stack trace of, of all the tasks on my system. Um mine use a single address. Everybody's on the same address map. There's not different address maps. But they have different symbol tables, so it's a little bit complicated. Anyway, uh you wanna see how fast I can compile everything? Watch watch this. Well, first of all, since I booted, 46,000 lines have been compiled since boot. Um, so that what that amounts to is uh, the Atom directory and the accounts directory have been compiled. During boot, those are compiled just in time. Um, now I'm going to compile... I'm going to compile my kernel bin and my compiler bin. Kernel is what's loaded first into low memory. Then it loads compiler. And then from then on, it compiles Atom. Once you have the compiler, you just in time everything. So uh, watch this. I'm going to compile. Bam! My compiler is so fast, it compiled 
Now we're up to 95, so we compiled 50,000 in uh, 0.6 seconds. My compiler rocks, so it made two bin files. Um, anyway, uh, so it's respectable. People think it's not respectable, but uh, um, let's go look at a let's go let's go take a look at a random routine. How about um, how about something in well, that's not very respectable. Want to see Max? That's a float. That would confuse you. Most people don't know float ASM. Do random. Let's go to the other math. Oh, that's it. Uh, how about? I don't know. I'm just trying to show it, that my debugger is pretty good. That my compiler is pretty good. I just want a routine to show it. How about compression? Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, how about this? Arc determine compression type. So I go I go over here and unassemble function arc determine compression type. Okay. So first we want to show that it's 64 bit because I get a lot of people a lot of people are fucking it's not 64 bit. It's it's an interpreter. It's not a compiler. It's not 64 bit. It's an interpreter. It's not a compiler. You don't use interrupts because you're dumb. Let's see. Yours is a fucking M16. Mine is. Anyway, so um, it's uh, here's the the assembly code from my compiler for source and 80 return return um, it's 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 not it's not too bad it's, it's pretty respectable anyway uh, so uh, uh, I wanted to say um, I there's only uh, there's VGA there's keyboard, there's mouse, those are PS2, there's ATA uh, hard disk and a tappy CD-ROM. So let's let's review. What devices do I have have to support? VGA, VGA. There's nothing I stole. There's ATA, a tappy. I rewrote that. VGA, I, I'm the only one, I use a 640 by 480. They're using the higher resolutions, and God said, this is what he wants for me. Theirs is pretty silly. Anyway, uh, I use the Tappy. I use PS, PS2 compatible keyboard and mouse. That's, um, it's USB. USB compatibility. If if the BIOS doesn't want to do that, we'd be in trouble. But um, you know what's going to happen? We're going to say everybody support God's temple, and then we're just like Windows, and they do work instead of us doing work. They do the work. They make themselves function. We and we only reduce line count. We do not add line count. So we're going to fix up. We're going to get rid of FAT32 and just use Red C. We're going to get rid of ISO 9660. We're going to get rid of the code that has to find the ports for ATA. We, we do ATA PIO. And we do a keyboard mouse. Well, the timer that's called, called a pit. The pick. The real-time clock. Uh, HPED, I guess, if you want to say. Um, keyboard, mouse, VGA, oh, and a PC speaker. God said, um, we, if we get one with a waveform, we, God wants a single voice. God said 640 by 480 was a covenant like circumcision. In other words, why would you circumcise? Well, because it's a covenant. 
got its single audio voice um, so that means uh, that means a frequency and a waveform we just have PC speaker at the moment um, waveform anyway uh, so uh, once you see that I'm I'm conservative I'm not trying to do something out of my ability it's finished this is all the hardware we're going to support my vision was a souped up Commodore 64 that was before the internet and it was used to program and to play games and, and everybody um, somebody wants to see fonts um, anyway let's just call it 